All right, Jordan, it's Lightning, Lightning Safety Awareness Week. I tried to combine two there words. It right. uh, didn't work I very did it well. Earlier. Anyway, storms are firing up this week. It's a good time to know how to best protect your family and your home before severe weather strikes. Yes, and joining us now is Master Electrician and owner of Mr. Electric of Central Iowa, Ben Colo. Thanks for being with us this morning. Of course, most people are aware of surge protectors, but what do they really protect? Are we really going to be able to save our TV and whatnot? Absolutely. Uh, when a sudden increase in voltage occurs like a lightning strike, surge protectors can safeguard uh, those electrical devices by redirecting the excess voltage through the house's grounding path. Uh, whole house surge protectors are a smart way to keep, uh, keep your sensitive electronics and valuable appliances safe uh, from electrical surge damage. One thing to keep in mind, though, uh, surge protectors work hand in hand with the ground system. Uh, so uh, the, the house's uh, wiring and grounding need to be properly installed. So if you're unsure if your home has surge protection uh, and is properly wired and grounded, uh, you can contact any Mr. Electric and we can do an assessment for you. What about those boxes that you plug in that say that they're surge protectors, you know, and then you plug your appliances into? Do those work? They do work when used in conjunction with whole home surge protectors. Okay. You can see over my left shoulder, that's a whole home surge protector that needs to be installed by an electrician. But that's a that's a, a class three surge protector you buy at the store. So it is important to have those also, uh, but they don't work on their own very well. So Ben, take me through as a homeowner. Um, you sold me on it. I'm going to call you. I want you to put a surge protector in. Tell us how that process goes and how much it costs. Okay, uh, there's, there are a myriad of different surge uh, protectors that, uh, that people can use. We use the one over our left shoulder. It's, it's made in the USA. It's, it's a great surge protector, uh, and it works for at least 10 years if it's bad. Uh, and, and this goes in the box, right? This goes in your... Um... Your box. Electrical box. Your electrical box, thank you. It needs to go where your first means of disconnect is, and that's typically in the circuit breaker panel, yes. So, circuit breaker panel, yep. Yeah, you want an electrician to put that in so it's wired correctly. There are some little things we need to do to make that work even more efficiently <clears throat> that, as a homeowner, you just wouldn't know. Uh, so the cost can, um, I, I would say the average cost is around $650. Um, and with a home having an average of $17,000 worth of appliances in it, Oof. it's a pretty good investment. So having that surge protector in there and, and paying that up front, do you have to go around and unplug all your devices, which most you, people don't do? You don't. But if you're at home and you know a storm is coming and, and, and you're alert to it, uh, it's, it's still a good idea to unplug. Keep in mind that uh, televisions, modems, uh, anything with a low voltage line in, like cable, TV, phone, uh, a, a voltage, a, a lightning strike in the area can follow those into your home. We've seen uh, right. 50 feet of burn marks following a cable line into a home. So, wow, uh, you, there is surge protection for those uh, wires also that can be installed. And why do we need a backup generator? Uh, backup generators are, uh, I wouldn't. I would say it's a luxury. Uh, at our house, we, we put one in, uh, the, the power goes off, and, and my wife and I look at each other and we go like this. One, two, three, the generator comes on, everything runs. So that's an automatic, uh, uh, it switches over automatically, and then when power is restored, it, it comes back on. Uh, and no muss, no fuss, if you're in, in another country, it's still gonna run. And are those expensive real quick? We gotta wrap it up, but are those expensive? Uh, they can be a uh, typical one, you know, twelve to 15000 for a small home, uh, but it's a great investment. Why, why, we would not be without one. My wife would probably leave I had me. one for my dad because he had oxygen. Ben Colo, thank you, Master Electrician. Uh, Mr. Electric of Central Iowa here. Thanks for the advice. Jordan. All right, let's get your T-Mobile coach.